Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. I have not done anything since the end of the last episode. We've still got our three tanks with our fuel filtration system. Um, one thing I did notice is this tank here is a little bit too far back. So what I'm going to do quickly is just move it one um, not square, but Oh, I don't know if I can get that in, can I? I have to change that cabling quickly. Um, move it forward by sort of one sub square, so. Uh, where didn't you go in there? Oh, because I've got pipes in there. That's why. And uh, rotate. Oh, don't be silly. You don't want to rotate that way. Thank you. So I want to be. How far forward is that one? Is that correct there? There, is that right? It's still hanging over. Oh, they're all hanging over. I thought it was just the end one that was hanging over. Oh well, in which case I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to move them all. They're going to all stay where they are. They're not really bothering me. It was just it looked, didn't look in line, but they are. So I've just been stupid. Nothing new there. Um, let's put my uh, pipe work back in. Uh, why am I missing one pipe? How can I be missing one pipe? Well, that's baffled me. What I'm going to do is uh, put that down and then insulate it. Um, I want it to be black though, so quick cheat. There we go. I don't understand how I lost the pipe there. Anyway, never mind, it's back in there now. Um, they are all nine, aren't they? Yes, 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 yes. They are. So this is our fuel form. So the next thing we want to start working on is building out our um, launch pad over here. I'm going to have to wait till the light comes up, I think, because it's a bit dark to see what I'm doing. And I want to get some bits lined up. So in the meantime, I'll go and get a wash. Before I go and get a wash, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some um, volatiles and things out of here and start processing them through my system. So, to temperature minus 48. How many is that? Three, six, ten. Okay. We just put five hundred each through. And as these are batches of fifty, that's ten batches. Two more. Gotta try and do this before the sun comes up. No, Amy's just sat there doing nothing again. I tell you, whenever I'm not recording, she just works fine. As soon as I turn the recording on, she just sits there. How can you miss from there? Everything works correctly, these will process themselves around through the sorting system. And the 
ice crushers should, should start converting them into ice. I don't need that silver on me either. It's been getting you do anything. Um, yeah, let's just quickly see if they are working. Oh, where'd that come from? Why are you here? What's going on? No! I've obviously messed something up. Because I've got ice everywhere. Not enough power. Uh, 300 watts, 3000 watts. So I'm curious where these, where did this ice come from? That really baffled me. Let's quickly go around and put this back in, see what happens. here this time. Maybe it came out when I was bending it and I didn't notice it. As I saw the top I can see it. What on earth they're doing up there? Unless the system. Wow, what's going on? Hunger, caution. You're coming out of the wrong way. That's why. That's what the issue is. Um. Have a. <sighs> you need to be a corner going that way. going that way. So anything coming out of there should go down there, round, down here. So let's try again. Because that one's not running. Temperature's starting to come up as well, I think. So I need to be quick. That's what it was, I must have uh, put one of the things in wrong. Maybe I was trying to put too much in at once and uh, how long does that run? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now the run should have been long enough to contain them. Um, 
not quite sure what happened there. That was part of the reason I wanted to do that test anyway, just to make sure. Oh, just in time, sun's coming up. And... Yeah. So, we should now have some... All the tiles in there. No, I haven't turned you one, have I? We will now start to get some oxygen in there and nitrogen in there. And we are. That's it. It's working. I think. We will see. Now I just need Amy to go and do her thing properly. Right, I will go and get a wash. And some food. I know I should probably get a wash before I have some food, but there's no bugs on Mars, is there? Not that we know of. I'm sure anything on Mars would have been desiccated and irradiated by the EV. Okay, how much water do I have? 49 litres, that's good. I did put some more water ice in there, I actually went out and mined pretty much a full backpack of water ice um, before the previous session so that uh, I would have enough for my plants and everything else. done, food done, battery's okay. How are you? Only 2.4, why only 2.4? You're on, you're not on, turn you on. Hmm. Why only 2.44? Because you're set to 300. Oh, I know what happened. When I was programming an IC, I had a setting a line set to a pin to set something, and uh, when I scrolled through everything, it set all everything with a dial on it like this to like 310. You know, what can probably make a 10,000. These uh, canisters can take it. There we go. There we go, it's going up again. So it's not you that's a problem. Two sword, I've got food, I've got water, I've got no air. Till didn't pick the air tank up and stuff all that time. Um, I've got enough help me to be honest. Stand fast. Oxygen low. Whoa. Don't forget to close my helmet, yet again. <gasps> so, uh, let's start with you. And you. should be high enough. Let's 
So I will want to build a launch control tower somewhere over here. I want some stairwells there and stairwells up there. Just come up, up the stairwell, up the second stairwell, and I think we'll have the launch control. The sun's going down again already, that's because I'm messing around with the stupid robot. Um, let's have it here, so I'm actually touching the ground. 3x3 three three room. I just build a bit of a walkway stroke um, runway for a uh, what would you call it? Um, cable duct, cable and pipe duct way, raceway, that's the kind of thing I meant. Right, let's just grab some steel. I've got some steel on me, but not enough. I think I've got some steel, yeah, 33, and just start welding up what I can. None of this needs to be sealed. Careful not to have my head in there when I do it. Again, a rocket is a huge investment. You need to spend a lot of time building bits. Actually, for the rocket, the infrastructure, um, I'll be doing it over several videos. Um, this is just to get a start on launch pad. Um, you need a rocket printer, which I also need to sort out. Oh, that power. And we'll need the other steel, so let's head back and uh, resolve both of those issues. Steel sheets, no steel in there. Um, it's okay, steel in here isn't uh, steel. You know what, let's just make some more. We've got everything we need around the corner, let's just make some more. Three of those. So I'm going to get one of those. I'll take two. When everything gets pushed through into the furnace, and then we should have 200 steel. Okay. You know what, while we're here, we might as well do some more. Go on, go in. Shut that down. <laughs> oh, doing a pressure. Uh, four and five. That's okay. And now we go into that. So let's bleed that off. Oh, 
Um, where do I make the rocket? I think it's in the rocket printer. It's not in that one. It's obviously got to be in that one I'm using at the moment, but I'll just check everything. Yeah. Yeah. How many is that? Let's take them for now. So we can carry on welding. So our control room will hold a um, computer to control the rocket, because it's all controlled by a computer now. Um, and have lots of windows in it so I can see what's going on. Because you want to see when your rocket's uh, coming into land and when it's taking off. far enough away from there? Yeah, it should be. Too far, won't see what's going on. Okay. Nearly out of there. Uh steel sheets and my battery's running down again. Yep, I have steel sheets now. So I need four stairwell no two stairwells. I'm not gonna put stairwells up that side, I'll just stick them up this side. So two not stairwells, just stairs. Okay, wrong button. But I will need these sheets, so let's just go check them. Um, stair kit, take two of those. Heavy duty cabling, I need lots of that. Come on, is this still the first one? Oh no, it's the second one. Yeah. Rocket Manufactory, there we go. Is that going? Yeah, it's leave the uh, cable printer going. So I'll run this cable up here. Uh, stairs. I want railings on both sides. So on the stairs you've got uh, four choices. Um, oop, go forward. You've got one without any railings, one with railings both sides, no, one with railings left, one with the railings to the right. And I want one with both sides, like that. There we go. I also want some lighting up here so I can see what the hell I'm doing. And all my pipe work will be running along here and up onto here, so I'll need some frames to go in here. So I'm going to need a lot of steel frames. How are we doing? 79. Rocket Manufactory, he can go. Ah, I have to lift some of the floor to see where I'm putting it. I 
don't think it would be sensible to put it here. I want to find what I've done with it. Oh, it's in my hand. Fool. <laughs> Stick it there. Um, a steel sheet, is it? Or is it iron sheet? That's steel sheet. Cabling. Plastic sheets. And screwdriver. There is no mod kit for this one, it's a mod printer straight away. So if you remember these ones didn't have the handle here, they had the handle here, and didn't have this big display where this one straight away does. It just has everything here. Okay. I'll make our ceilings flooring at some point. How are you doing? 50 cables I'll do for now. Um, steel frames. Set that going. you up and you and I'll start running the electric cabling there's quite a bit to run up here so yeah, good. that'll do and then I can run over from there Half a cable's gone already. There's our control room. So bring this in this way. Oh, I'm just welding that. Okay, let's start on that, but let's go and get the rest of our frames. How many do we have? 29, that should be enough. Set you going, and you need also insulate pipes next. I'm probably going to need a couple hundred of those. So let's just fill this out. I will use a um, drill on here in a bit to clear some of this down. And I'll bring my pipes. I probably don't need all these frames going all the way along. I'm probably going to bring a pipe out there, the um, volatiles. Uh, but I will mix them here. So I've only got to run one um, fuel pipe all the way along.
Can I get through there? Yeah, I can, yeah. Power again. Drill. Yo, oh, don't gonna over that weird line there. I'll do. I'll probably end up covering all this anyway with some kind of flooring to hide the pipes and the uh, cabling. Cables, let's well finish running you down here while I can. Okay, oh, this welding you. Sort of um, things. So I want a fuel. I want a mixer, gas mixer, and a. What do I need for that? Oh, I've got enough for that. And a turbo pump. Sorry, I don't know what I did there. Um, and a turbo pump. Oh no, I don't know a gas mixer. Idiot. Well, I've got two gas mixers now. Uh, turbo volume pump. I need steel and I've got some more steel on me because I printed it earlier. There we go. I want an IC and an IC housing. Copper. Let's go quickly print some more copper. Print. Smelt. I knew what I meant. Close you down, open you, give you a hit. Now oh, you're doing 16, I'm going to have to vent that soon. Yeah, in fact, you know what, let's vent it now. Hopefully my... Sterling engine won't go bang. Wrong way. You'll know if it does, you'll hear it. Oh yeah, 9.9, .9, 10 megapascals, getting quite high. Um, producing 2.4 kilowatts of power though. Let's just close that, give it a chance to cool down. Uh, something went, what was it that went? You went. I see housing. I know you'd nice see. Unless I've got one over here, which I think I might do actually. Oh no, I used it. I used it in Amy Bot. Um no no insulated pipes need more insulated pipes um let's go with that for the minute
So I could mix the fuel here. Uh, but I want the pipes down, don't I? I'm not going to get down there with that in the way. But I need that connection for later. Tell you what, let's just take this up and across. Um, don't want to do the mixer here. I could use a mixer here and the turbo pump. I need to do it um, that way. Like so. This pipe can go like this. Um, yeah, I don't like I've been up in the air like that. I'm going to change around a little bit. Gotta run this through here. Well, I'd have to run this through here, but I am gonna run through here. Um, like so. small tank. Yes, I think I do. I want a small fuel tank. Storage tank. Insulated tank. Silicon. Oh yeah, I need silicon, don't I? Oh, for Christ's sake. What am I doing? Come on. <laughs> I hope you appreciate how much effort it is to build these things. spitting it out for should be able to turn my sterling engine back on again for a bit as you can see with the gas going in it the pressure builds so much quicker in here than with just the um, The oxides going in, all the air uh, ores going in. Wrong way. Let's build you. Um. Twelve walls to build. A room around my Sterling engine. So I'll just don't was that done? Oh there we go. I 
I'll get eight to begin with. I actually need seven to begin with. Right, but I'll worry about that in a moment. I want to continue on with this little project over here. So let's build a... Oh, I don't want to build a fuel tank. You know what, let's build it here, but I need to clear some dirt out the way first. Let's clear some of this back. And then we can um Pipes up there. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. I do know what I'm doing, honestly. And I'm out of insulated pipes again. I thought it was a lot to build on this. Pump, gas feed, rocket, heavy, battery, um, launch mount, that's what I want, and I need steel. need a lot of steel for this as well so I might as well just go and make some more steel. <clears throat> so you've got to build, but you've got to, you've got to build a launch uh, a launch base for the rocket. You then have to build. Oh, it's a bloody storm coming. Where's Amy? Oh, there she is. Right. Close you. See, she goes when I do that. Why are you going when I do that? I not want to do that. This time my last one died. You're going off. Off. Sit over there. Right, steel. Um Temperatures and the pressures. Go steel. And you can go in there. I'll stop you for now. Let's just close some doors around here so things don't get blown around too much. How am I doing food and water and things? Actually not too bad at the moment. I'm doing better than I was expecting, if I'm honest. Let's 
Steel sheets that you want. That's definitely going to need a battery replacing again. Tank. Small tank. I want it here. It's just acting as a buffer, really, for the fuel. Um, didn't mean to fall off there, then. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I want to get stuff done before the storm arrives. And I can run the shoots down here. That should work. Let's just check. I've got some shoots on me. I do. Yeah, that'll work. They'll all fit in there. And I'm out of pipes again. I know I was going to use these walls to go on my Sterling engine, but I changed my mind. I'm going to use them here. Um, Plastic used. I did say it goes through a lot of stuff. I uh, don't think I've got enough power in my welder. I did just. Right, I'm out of sheets, I'm out of that, I'm out of that. My volume pump will go up here when I get all the rest of the cables. As soon as I've got shoots on me, I might as well use them. more walls what's a power production like at the moment 15.2 kilowatts 10 of that would be coming from this big fan here yeah, big fan big wind generator here 
How's my batteries doing? I haven't checked them in a while. Charge, fully charged. Yeah, not bad. Battery power. So we're doing quite well. Slow walking against the wind. How many do we have there? I'm going for a minute. Yeah, I need another 20 to 40 them, I reckon. Um, let's check this a bit. I think it is. It is good. Thing, that one I want. Um, plastic. Yep, yeah, that's what I want as well. So I need another couple of those. How are we doing? Are we out? That's it, did we? We had one bit of silicon in there. Wow. That was useful. Any more plastic over here? I don't believe so, no. And you're at silicon as well. Okay, so I guess I'm going to smell some silicon. Let's just clear my hat. Oh, it's going to be challenging picking these up. So I need to get this closed off. Oh, I just got it. No, no, come back. Oh, they're gone. How many have got left? Eleven. I'll be all right. <laughs> I might have to get a wall down here. That's part of the reason I wouldn't enclose this just for a second. Come in here and get the stuff without um, everything being blown away in a storm. Uh, you're not hot enough to smelt, I don't think. Ah, uh, I needed two lots of silicon, didn't I? Oh, okay. Um, I need the plastic first. Go away, Storm. We don't want you here. Whoa, 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 whoa. I forgot about those. Um. Nah, five will be fine. They've added some more bits since I've um, done this last time, but because it. Um, stairwell, transformer, rocket scanner. Yeah, I'll need all your scanners and things, but what I want first off is. Um, Gas fed engine. I think that's the simplest one. And you need Electrum, Invar, and Constantan, which are all new. new. Some of it is. Cons 
a ton. Electrum. This is where you're going to start needing more of your um, advanced alloys. Missing oh, none of Constantine and Invar. Um, some Invar in you. Let's see Invar. Storm have passed. Oh yeah, it's gone. Right. Let's see if we can get the thing which is meant to be doing. Apologies. Amy. <laughs> um, what have I got? Got all of that, got all of that, got that. Let's just crack on with what we're doing. again. Okay, let's look at a fair way to go to the end of our support frame, that's right, so I've got to build. Um, like this. And then I believe this goes in the middle. Like so. Right. I am going to uh, get some more silicon. I need it for other things. Um, it's not hot enough. Oh, the beeping is getting right on my nerves. <laughs> Go in there. Right. Um, what do I want to do? I want to finish off the... The only thing I'm going to do for this session, I think, is finish off the control room. Uh, the, the structure of the control room, just so we can um, start putting things in here. So I need the walls. Let's see. 
so. Uh, Hunger critical. Glass, yes, I'm aware. Plastic. Air tank low. Not to more worry. My air tank being low. Uh, glass, I've got glass on me. Oh, I'm supposed to sit some plastic there. Okay, I think that's all that done. So all I need to do now is put a wall on there, maybe put some flooring down. Um, we will mount our computer Maybe it's here against this wall so we can see what's going on on the launch pad. Um, I need my turbo pump there because it's got to pump fuel into the rocket. I've got to set up the uh, fuel mixer down here, which I haven't done yet. Um, I want to put a little bit of logic on that so that it doesn't drain these tanks uh, and screw up the mixer, which I've done in the past. Um, Obviously we've still got to run all of our chutes in and tie them into our station. And um, we've got to build the rest of the rocket structure, our uh, base. So I think we'll leave it there for today guys. Uh, hopefully you've learned something from that, what you're going to start doing to build a launch pad. And um, we'll pick it up next time. Obviously everything on here in this rocket uh, manufacturing has everything in here. You've got various different drilling heads and different things. Um, you have... Um, various parts to go inside the rocket and the rocket fuselage you have uh, umbilicals which I mentioned before so you've got a gas launch uh, sorry a gas umbilical the a liquid umbilical I'll not be using because I'm not using a liquid engine uh, power umbilical and there's a chute umbilical somewhere um, yeah it's here somewhere I'm sure I uh, no, can't see it. It is here, believe me. Yeah, it is. Shoot and build up. Um, which all need to be set up on the tower. These tower parts I've got here. Um, you've got to make sure you place them all in the right place so they connect the rocket properly. So there's a lot still to go on. Obviously, you're going to get power, batteries in the rocket, fuel tanks in the rocket, um, engines, um, scanners, um, avionics boxes. There's loads to go in there. Absolutely loads. Uh, it's probably going to take me another two, possibly three videos to do everything we need for this rocket. Uh, but we will get there. Oh, and the sun's coming up. How am I doing on food and water? Fine. Let's just... Uh... I was going to say, let's enjoy the sun coming up over the hills. How are you doing? It's still producing four watts and I've got nothing coming through okay there we go we've got the Sun coming up now over our uh, the initial infrastructure for our launch base with our little control room here and our actual rocket base here so the rocket will sit in here uh, I will have a tower possibly this side might be that one I haven't decided yet going up always makes more sense to put on this side. Actually, I think it goes there. That's all that I It goes on the sides, I can't remember the top of my head. We'll get there, but it takes an awful lot of plastic and metal and steel and everything else. Computer parts, electronic parts. Oh, I better go. So, that's my character now breathing very heavily because he's running out of water. So thanks for watching guys, please hit the like and subscribe. If you'd like to support me, I do have a Patreon page, the link is in the description. Amy's back, so I'm not collecting anything in again, how annoying. Uh, yeah, any comments, please leave them below, and I'll catch you next time. It's Dragonfly Gamer wishing you good night.